Ants always seem to live in the background of life. However, ants are one of the cornerstones of many ecosystems. Ants may be tiny, but they are mighty, able to carry many times their own weight. So today, we're going to look into a little ant weird on today's episode of 5 Weird Things. Welcome to the channel. Ants have always been the least creepy of all insects for me. And by less creepy, I mean I'd let one walk on my hand without freaking out. I know somebody that ants completely terrify her. The exact opposite reaction. What are your ant thoughts? Put it down in the comments. All right, let's get into it. First, the things we should all know. Ants are insects that range in size from 2 to 25 millimeters long, which is roughly the size of a paperclip. They're usually brown, yellow, red, or black in color. Ants are omnivores, like humans, that eat other animals and plants. Ants don't have ears, but they can hear vibrations on the ground using special sensors on their feet and knees. Some species also have eyes that they can sense light levels. Ants have two stomachs, one for their own food and one to share with other ants. This process, called trophallaxis, helps ant colonies work efficiently. That's probably the most fascinatingly weird thing about ants I've ever heard. Weird thing number five, fire ants. Fire ants are known for their painful sting, which can cause a burning sensation and allergic reactions in some individuals. Because it is a venomous sting, it can hurt for up to an hour. And on rare occasions, their sting can trigger fatal reactions. Fire ants are highly aggressive and will swarm and attack anything they perceive as a threat to their nest. Pretty much anything that gets near a fire ant nest is perceived as a threat. Fire ants build large mound nests that can reach up to 18 inches high and can extend several feet underground. Fire ants are also omnivores, feeding on a variety of foods that include insects, plants, and small animals. They can also scavenge for human food. The red imported fire ant, which is known as Solenopsis invicta, is an invasive species in many parts of the world, causing ecological damage and impacting agriculture and human activities. Weird thing number four, super colonies. Ant super colonies consist of interconnected nests spanning vast geographic areas, sometimes covering thousands of kilometers. Estimations are that super colonies populations can reach sizes of several billion ants. Super colonies can contain multiple reproductive queens, each capable of laying eggs and contributing to the colony's growth and expansion. Ants within super colonies exhibit cooperative behavior, sharing resources, and defending their territory collectively against rival colonies. Ants within a super colony often display high genetic relatedness, with individuals from different nests sharing similar genetic traits. Super colonies of invasive ant species, such as the Argentine ant, which is Linipithema humile, can be found in various parts of the world, disrupting local ecosystems and outcompeting native species. And that's pretty much the, the main thing about an invasive species. Wherever they go, they take over. Weird thing number three, age. Most worker ants have relatively short lifespans, typically ranging from a few weeks to a few months, depending on the species. But the lifespan of an ant can vary based on factors such as what species, the cast, is it a worker, a soldier, a queen, and environmental conditions? Queen ants, however, can live for several years or even decades, continuously laying eggs and sustaining the colony. Queen ants of the Laziaus niger species have the longest recorded lifespan of any ant, living more than 28 years. The lifespan of worker ants may be influenced by seasonal changes, with some species having shorter lifespans during colder months. Worker ants are continuously replaced through the emergence of new adults from pupae within the colony, ensuring a steady workforce for colony tasks. Weird thing number two, ecosystem. Ants aerate the soil through their digging and tunneling activities. This helps to improve soil structure, allowing air and water to penetrate more easily, which promotes root health for the plants and growth. Their tunnels also mix and distribute nutrients throughout the soil. Ants play a crucial role in breaking down and decomposing organic matter, such as dead insects, animals, and plant material. This decomposition process recycles nutrients back into the soil, enriching it and supporting plant growth. 
Many ant species participate in seed dispersal, a mutualistic relationship known as myrmecockery. Ants carry seeds to their nests where some seeds germinate in nutrient-rich environments. This process helps plants spread and promotes plant diversity in ecosystems. Ants act as natural pest controllers by preying on a variety of agricultural pests, including caterpillars, aphids, and other harmful insects. By controlling these pest populations, ants help protect crops and reduce the need for chemical pesticides. Through their nesting activities, ants create habitats for other organisms. Their nests and tunnels provide shelter for various small invertebrates and microorganisms, contributing to biodiversity. Additionally, abandoned ant nests can become habitats for other species. Finally, weird thing number one, ant jobs. The queen ant, the queen's primary role is reproduction. She lays eggs that will develop into the colony's workers, soldiers, and future reproductive ants. In some species, there can be multiple queens within a single colony. Worker ants, first off, foragers. These workers leave the nest and search for food and bring it back to the colony. They use pheromone trails to help other ants find food sources. Nurses, these ants take care of the queen's eggs and larvae, feeding and grooming them until they mature. Builders, these workers are responsible for constructing and maintaining the nest. They dig tunnels, expand chambers, and repair any damage. Soldier ants. Soldier ants are larger and stronger than regular work ants. Their main job is to protect the colony from predators and other threats. They have powerful mandibles for fighting and can also assist in carrying large food items. Scout ants. Scouts are responsible for exploring and locating new food sources and potential nest sites. Once they find something of interest, they return to the colony and use pheromones to guide other ants to the location. Reproductive ants. Now these are males and new queens. During specific times of the year, reproductive ants, which include males and new queens, leave the colony to participate in nuptial flights. During these flights, they mate and the fertilized queen then establishes new colonies. Each of these roles is crucial for the colony's survival growth and success, demonstrating the complex social structure and division of labor within ant societies. Well, that's it for today's episode. I hope you liked it. There's more to ants than I ever thought there was. Please like and subscribe. And if you could share this video with everyone you've ever met, I would consider that a personal favor. Leave any opinions down in the comments. Check out the videos above. And if you watched all the way till now, today's code word is super colony. Put that in the comments to ensure the health and well-being of the colony. Long live the queen. Take care and have a great night.